So many people have asked me how I have managed to get my adventure crafter deck, the mythic deck, and my um, GM apprentice deck into Tabletop Simulator. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So uh, if on Drive-Thru RPG you've bought the PDF downloadable version, um, you get these uh, cards that are handily already into separate JPEGs for you, so a great way to start. And so once you've downloaded those and got them into a folder, what you need to do next is you need to find where you've installed Tabletop Simulator on your computer. So for me, I actually started in my uh, D drive, um, but it's probably in your C drive somewhere, but you need to find the directory. Um, and you go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, Tabletop Simulator, modding, and then within there, there's a deck builder, but I'll show you now. So there's my, inside my Steam library, you go to Steam apps, common, uh, look for Tabletop Simulator, and then modding, and then finally, deck builder. And within here, you'll see this TTS deck editor. So just double click on that. And why has it done that? It's because, is it because I've already got it open somewhere? There we go, it's open this time. And what I've discovered is the best way to do it, instead of making a new deck or open deck, if you go to file um, and choose add cards, Click that. And then we need to navigate to where those cards are. So go to the folder where your cards are and then just using your shift button, select all the cards that you want to be in that deck. So I'm going to include the shuffle card here actually. Now you notice I haven't included the, uh, the front or the back of the card, I suppose it will be called. I'll show you that in a moment. So open those. Now, what you need to do, this is the maximum that you can have uh, 10 by seven. So if you've got more cards than that, it'll actually um, open up two images. You'll see this in a moment. So click OK. And then it's asking me to click OK again. So there must be more than 70 in that deck. And what we get, so this is deck one. Now you'll see there's a space down here. This is for the back of the cards. And then it's created me another deck here where there was, so there's clearly what, there's uh, 102 cards there must be in that deck. So what we're gonna do next is we need to drag the back of our cards. So let's go here, grab this drag it over to that window and drop that there. So we've got the back there now. I'll do the same on the other one, drop it into place 70. So now we've got the back in here. So it's, it's best to save this now so you could uh, save each deck somewhere safe, save deck house, save it somewhere safe. And then what you want to do is click on export. Let's start with the, the full one first. Click on export and it's going to give you some options here. So you can choose the option to upload it, um, upload the image to somewhere like Imager or uh, Cube Upload, I'm not familiar with that one. But the problem I found is that once you use those images in Tabletop Simulator, they don't look very good. So I've started saving it to my desktop and then uploading them to the cloud. Um, that That's my dog on my lap. I don't know if you can hear that. My puppy's uh, dreaming. Um, yeah, if you upload them to uh, the cloud within Tabletop Simulator, the images look much crisper and much more detailed, especially when you're reading some of the fine detail 
on some of these cards. But anyway, for now, just click export. And then it's going to ask you where you want to save that. And it's going to save it as a big PNG like this. And you can see I've done this before, so I'm not going to save right now, but you get the idea. So decide where you want that to go and name it um, whatever you want. I think in this case, I named it Adventure Part 2 um, and Adventure Part 1. Maybe I should have named them the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to shuffle them together eventually. So I'll cancel that for now, but that's what you do. Export and save that image somewhere. Um, and that's all we need for now. So let me start up Tabletop Simulator. So here we are in my uh, solo Tabletop Simulator table. And um, I'm just gonna show you what I mean with uh, how, how uh, these cards look. So when you hold down, when you hover over a card in Tabletop Simulator and hold down Alt on your keyboard, you get a zoomed in view and that's, uh, you can even zoom in a bit with your mouse wheel. You can, you know, crystal clear um, text there. Now, if you do it with uploading to Imager or something like that, I found you don't get that crystal clear text. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's pretend I'm making a new deck here. So what you do next is you click on Objects, Components, Cards, and Custom Deck. For some reason it won't let me place it down here, I don't know why. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm going to place it up here where it will let me. And then right click on that. And what you're going to do is where it says Face, this is um, we're going to choose the face um, of the cards that we created, that big dot, that uh, big image that combined them all. So navigate to where that is, and um, for me, we'll use uh, this one. Select. It's going to ask you if you want to store it in the cloud. So I'm going to do that. You can store it locally if you're not going to um, have other players come and join you at any point. But just in case, I stored it in the cloud. Upload. And then it's going to ask you for the back of the card. So find where the back of the card is. So that's just the single version, not the one that was added um, to uh, the larger image. Find the actual single back of the card, which for me is this one. Select, again, cloud. So actually, I think in the earlier step, you don't actually have to add the back to space 70, but in the instructions I first followed, you did. But um, actually, now I'm thinking you do, probably don't need to do that. But so do upload uh, the, the way I've been doing it is upload the single back to this part here. Then the important thing, because you don't want lots of blank cards in there, tell it how many, what the width and what the height um, of the deck is. So if you remember, I completely filled that first image. Um, so 10 by 70. Oh no, sorry, leave that as 10 by 70. It's here you dictate how many cards are in there. So because I completely filled it, I'm going to put that up to 70, but in the other one, I think it was 32. So you would um, bring that down to 32 and then hit import. And there we are instantly is um, that deck. Now do the same for the um, 32. In fact, I'll do it now. Place that something. Don't know why it's doing that. Delete that. Oh, because I was clicking custom card, custom deck, put that there, right click. Again, this time I'm going to choose uh, part one. Select, cloud, upload. Choose the back. Select, cloud, upload. Now there was 32 cards, if I remember rightly, in this one. Come on, to do, thank you, import, and then all you do is drop that on there, hover over it, hit R, and that shuffles those two decks together. Now, the problem we have next to solve, if we look at a uh, Adventure Crafter card, is that some of them are upside down, and this is particularly a problem 
with um, the Mythic emulator deck, if we flip that, um, as the deck comes, all the yeses face upwards. So how do we flip them sideways? There isn't an elegant solution for that in uh, Tabletop Simulator, unfortunately, but I have figured out a way around it. So if we go back to Windows, now that we're back in Windows, what I did was I copied and pasted all my cards into a new folder. And then I, I, I turned them 180 degrees. Now, if I remember rightly, I think if you uh, select all the cards, hit F4, I think it is. No, oh, we don't have to, it's up here, look, picture tools, click on picture tools, rotate so i clicked rotate right twice and that flipped them all around 180 degrees and then i just followed the instructions that i gave you earlier create those decks import them into um, tabletop simulator um, and then shuffle those two decks that you've now created or four decks in essence actually um, together and what what that does is as you'll see um, there's 102 cards from the original deck, but my Adventure Crafter deck is, well, because there's some already out, it's uh, 204, because I've, in essence, got two decks shuffled together. Um, some are the right way up, some are upside down. So that's the only way I know about it. And you'll notice here um, that, well, how many is there? 15, uh, 189. So there's, there's over 200 cards in my Mythic emulator, uh, GM emulator deck as well, because I've had to combine two decks to enable me to have yeses and noes all mixed together. Um, but otherwise, uh, that works fine. Uh, GM emulator, you don't need to worry about flipping, uh, turning those 180 degrees. But as you can see, if you use uh, the cloud option, the text is crystal clear. And that is my guide on how to uh, create those decks so uh, if you've enjoyed that please let me know in the comments uh, like and subscribe all that jazz thanks very much